So this was day one on Happy Buddha, a beautiful V9 in Kong Can, Thailand. The problem that had been introduced to me is a V8 that had been downgraded to a hard V6 plus. But uh, I later found out that this wasn't the case. Uh, it had actually been upgraded by a recent climber to V9. Here you can see me trying the problem for the third or fourth time. The problem starts off with a half pad in cut crimp on the left and a pretty good foot to a quarter pad side pull under cling that you can kind of get your thumb around. From there in my final beta I end up bringing my left foot up to a chip foot hold on my left and then bringing my right foot also up to another chip foot hold which is also pretty bad. Um, you can't see me using it here in these first few attempts because at this point I hadn't actually found these footholds. From these two footholds you end up doing the crux move by either doing a heel hook as you can see here or you can jump directly, both of which are pretty dynamic. I think what makes the move so hard is that the footholds that you're using are pretty bad so if you're going to go jump from the lower footholds you need a lot of body tension and you need to pull really hard with your fingers to keep your feet on the wall. And you can see me slip throughout the video on these footholds when I get tired. So this was day two on the boulder and I came in feeling pretty confident about it because I'd already got up to the crux move. I hadn't stuck it yet but I would felt the hold and I knew it was big so I thought it was easier than it actually was. I think the hardest thing about this move is that the pocket is completely blind and it's got a kind of a lip in front of it so it's not just blind but you've also got another two or three inches that you need to kind of um, go up before you try and take this pocket and it's pretty small so you have to be really accurate as well but you're going completely blind. You really need to commit to the move because as you kind of slap the pocket you kind of need to curl in your fingers to try and get the your fingers into the pocket and if you go too far you end up just ramming your fingers into the top of the uh, wall and if you go too low then you always just slap the edge of the lip and there's a couple of times I actually got my fingers where they needed to be but I didn't commit to kind of really wrapping my fingers into the pocket as I got there so on day three, I ended up trying it on my own with a couple of pads, and definitely learned from this first attempt. Yep, need to put the pad in the right place. And I did it again. I definitely didn't expect to have to try this route that many times, but uh, I underestimated how difficult the crux move actually was. And at this time, I didn't know it was a V9. I expected it was a easy V8 or even a V7, since I'd been told it was a, a V6 plus or 7, something like that. But as you can see from day three, I tried it this many, many times. I think this day I tried it 40 times in four hours with a roughly five minute rest in between. So after trying this jump, probably for two or three hours. I got a little bit frustrated and uh, even tried to do the back step, which really didn't work at all. And uh, here you can see, I even tried and pogo it, which uh, it actually felt pretty good, but the, uh, the foothold was so bad, and because you're really pushing hard in your right foot, it felt like 
I wouldn't be able to keep my right foot on as I catch the pocket, which could be a problem. This was the final day I tried it, and you can see me making some weird arm motions here, where I'm trying to mimic how I need to catch the hold by doing a kind of overhand freestyle swimming motion so I can loop my hand into the pocket. If you go directly for the pocket, you end up slapping the lip at the bottom, and even if you get it into the pocket, I only managed to get maybe half a fingertip into there, which really wasn't enough to, to hold the jump. After about 10 tries, I realized that I might not be able to hold a jump because I got the actual hold a couple of times cleanly, and I was just getting pulled off the wall by the momentum that I was using to jump. And it might have been because of my height. I know that the, um, the guy that did the first ascent was a few inches taller than me, which may have allowed him to keep his foot on the wall, but I found it pretty hard with the body tension I had to keep my foot on the wall whilst going for the pocket, so ended up trying to do the heel hook version quite a few times, which uh, ended up being the best beta for me. At this point, I wasn't really sure whether the heel hook version was better or the jump from the lower foot holes was better, but all I knew was that by this point my fingers were fried and the heel hook version allowed me to take a little bit more pressure off my fingers so I could, I could kind of use my arms more because my heel hook was taking some pressure off my fingers. And after a hundred tries over four days, the time finally came, just like all good movies. At the last hour of the last day I was in Thailand. As I grabbed this hold, I was super nervous. Um, even though it's not that hard of a move, it's kind of a sloper, so I was really afraid I was gonna fall off it, so I was grabbing everything with like twice as much as I needed. And that's a wrap. Um, thank you very much for watching this process video of my first outdoor V9. And if you ever guys get a chance to go to Kong Can, Thailand, it's a beautiful place, highly recommended. Awesome! Ah, ah,